Um, I want to say. guys we are back again and uh, it's time to actually do some some composite layup shit and it's locked Ross got it what am I grabbing? just you can just unlock it and I'll get it all right here's our hood scoop mold and the supplies I brought bought last night so the way we're gonna do this we're gonna hot glue this bitch to the hood where we want it to stay right about there and then we're gonna cut up some fiberglass and carbon fiber cloth and I guess just get to work on laying it down I got rubber gloves so we don't get fucking sticky so that's nice and uh yeah, I think uh, that's it. We just gotta wait for the glue gun to warm up. Alright, so we're just gonna hot glue it. Because it'll come off easy. But it'll hold it in place while we need it to. And hot glue is foam safe. Super glue is not. It'll just melt it. That ought to be sufficient. Gonna hold it down for a while. I'm gonna try. All right, guys. The epoxy I use is West Marines West Systems. 105 resin with the 206 slow hardener very very fucking expensive epoxy but it's really worth it it pays off nicely in a car application using polyurethane resin or uh, a cheaper epoxy is probably not a big deal but I use it for rockets usually and you kind of need some expensive epoxy to rely on when you're going Mach 2 or Mach 3 so that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix it up real quick. All right, so the pumps make it a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm gonna do four pumps of each. And this epoxy, I was just telling Ross, has a ridiculously long cure time. This is another reason I recommend it. And it doesn't smell like ass like other epoxy. <laughs> smell it. No, it doesn't. It smells sugary. It kind of smells like cereal. Yeah. Don't eat it, though. I highly recommend no. keeping it out of your mouth. But okay. uh, if you guys haven't done composite work before, I definitely recommend an epoxy that takes a long time to cure. This one, I believe, starts curing between four and six hours and takes a full 24 to cure when it's warm enough and can take up to 48 if it's a little cold out but luckily we're in the heated garage all right guys i'm just going to use this cheap little chip brush from walmart three inch chip brush and uh, i'm going to time lapse all of this because it's going to take a while and i've got nothing to say about it not wet the cloth on top of having already got what you're glassing wet, but use your brush to pull the glass or the epoxy to the surface so it wets out the glass. And then if you need more from there, you put more.
<laughs> so uh, that's our first two layers done with our fiberglass. Now I'm just getting it really, really wet on top of these layers to get ready for the carbon fiber. And uh, it's the same process. Lay it on top, wet it out with the brush. And then anything I have left, I'm gonna brush on top of the carbon fiber so it stays glossy and I can sand it and we'll make it look real good. That truly really is the most shitty part of making carbon fiber parts is making them look good. If you don't want it to look good, you just want it to function, then it's not too bad. But uh, this is where things get hairy because carbon fiber is hard to see through. tonight and now it's in fate's hands how well this thing's gonna come out it looks pretty fucking sexy though carbon fiber is hard to make unsexy I don't care if it's on a fucking ratty ass Honda dude this is badass I love working with carbon fiber so uh, we're gonna let it dry and then we'll peel it off the hood we'll trim up the edges and then uh, on with the making it glossy and pretty to look at so that should be not fun at all, honestly. I fucking hate doing it, but it, <laughs> it looks good when it's done. And um, so, yeah, well, I'm going to put the camera down. I think we're going to make Ross some stickers. We'll show you those in a little bit. And then uh, come tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, this should be ready to pull off. All right, here's the Steve's new sticker set. You got a big Stay Steezy, a big Curse Forever, mini trucking. It's a trap. We got Captain Insano and Colonel Sanders to go above the doors. <laughs> and then uh, he's probably going to get a couple more, but that's what we got for now. Don't forget, squareup.com slash market slash curse forever. You can get stickers from me. Send me a message on Facebook if you need some custom ones. I know some of you guys will need one of them mini trucking stickers. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right, guys. Our hood scoop's been drying for about 20 hours now. Pretty solid. Okay, so it stuck a little better than I had initially thought it might. So now we get to play the fun chisel and rubber mallet game. guys I'm gonna just get to this you guys get the idea what's going on put my work gloves on because I don't fuck with carbon fiber slivers they suck dick and uh, I'll see you guys when I get this fucker off all right people I got this side looser than your mom <laughs> this side is still got a little bit but I just gotta do the back and we'll be good find a cutoff wheel for the Dremel so I'm just gonna use this sanding drum 
disclaimers, yada yada, use eyewear, all that shit, don't be stupid. guys so this is the current state of our hood scoop we still got the foam in it obviously because uh, while I could leave it like this it's not quite done in my opinion until it's super smooth and glossy like factory carbon fiber parts this is where my fault is because I hate doing this I hate all the sanding and work required to make it shiny but I also hate carbon fiber that's not shiny. So we kind of got a catch 22 going there. So we're going to make it shiny. And that means this video is going to have to have a part five. I th yeah, yeah, because this will be part four. So two more pumps of epoxy. Grab another brush. This time I'm using a two inch chip brush. Bam, all right. And we're just gonna brush it on. A nice thin coat. But make sure we're using adequate amounts. So, now you can see with the epoxy on there, the nice high gloss finish that everyone loves. We'll let that dry overnight, and then we'll wet sand it, and uh, clear coat it, then wet sand it some more, and then probably rub some cutting compound into it, and it'll be fucking done, and we can put it on the car. So, make sure you subscribe to see how this thing turns out with a part 5 video. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. Don't forget, you can get stickers from me. Squareup.com slash market slash cursed forever. And uh, hope you guys stick around and see us in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video's car of the video goes to Nicholas Royer for his 2009 Mini Cooper S slammed to the ground because the Das Auto is good. Be sure to like us on Facebook at B. Carlson Autos. Submit your entry for car of the video to cursedforeverhelp at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram or add me on Snapchat at BigB1011 and click on the left side of the screen to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.